Hey guys, it's Rob. It's Wednesday, the 18th of August, and we're going to go over uh, market stats today. But uh, while I'm doing that, I'll show you where my office is today. This is a new purchase that Rebecca and I just made down in uh, Saybrook Manor, old Saybrook. This is our first vacation rental soiree and uh, just giving you a little preview of what we're going to be up to here so I didn't I wasn't able to show you out there but it's a literally like less than a five minute walk to the water and the beach so we're excited obviously we're going to do a little bathroom rental but uh, among other things get down to business so I don't know if you guys made uh, the meeting at CT Ria, but if you didn't, you missed Matt. Matt was down there, Matt Mealy, doing some uh, stats for Connecticut uh, for the whole group down there. Uh, Ron Faraci asked him to go down there and do that, and it was awesome. Everybody that was there was real pumped for that information. Nice job, Matt. So what I'm going to go over today is um, Hartford County, June 20 versus June 21. So we're going to see here. This is some interesting stuff. You know, we've been tracking this for quite a while and uh, we're seeing some slight changes, some interesting st stuff. So uh, this is uh, new listings in June. Uh, again, 20 versus 21. And this is Hartford County. And uh, 2020, we had 1,275 new listings versus uh, June of this year, at end of June, uh, through the end of June, 1,244 versus 1,275. So that was a increase, actually, in new listings on the market of 2.4%. So that's pretty interesting. Um, you're hearing a lot of people saying that there's you know, no new inventory, but, you know, as we've discussed in, in past videos, it's not about the supply as much as it is about the demand eating the supply. So, um, demand, pending sales, speaking of demand, uh, we have 898 in 2020 versus 1110 in 2021, which is a 23% increase, um, which is... A little bit lower than it has been it's been for at least the past say six months it's been double so this is uh, up 23 percent so demand is still very very strong um, close this is something that we don't usually talk about this is the rear view these are things that went under contract in probably April uh, June closing in 2021 818 versus 2021, 31.8% up, 818 versus 1078. That's a, an increase of 31.8% in closed units uh, this year, June, versus last year, June. And here's something that we don't go over too much also, which is really interesting. Um, and this is, this is something that you really want to keep track of because uh, days on market when you see the days on market start to slow down that's definitely a leading indicator of the market so 2020 versus 2021 uh, 50 days on market June of last year versus 23 days on market June of this year that's a 54 percent uh, decrease which is good for the sellers out there um, that's huge. Days on market cut in half over the course of a year. Um, and then here's another one that we don't do much. Average sale price. Um, again, June. This is uh, Greater Hartford. $255,000 in 2020. That same house this year, June, $300,000. That is like out of control for Connecticut. We are usually like this. 
of my hand moving a little bit. Yeah. So, 17.6% appreciation. That's pretty awesome for you sellers out there. Um, and this is another one that we don't usually track or discuss, but us real estate agents look at this closely. Um, close percentage price, uh, percentage of list price. Uh, list price, what percentage did it close at? June of last year, 2020, 99.4%, which is phenomenal. I mean, nobody would argue with that. This year, and this is why you hear all those stories about everyone going way over asking and you hear 50,000, 80,000, you know, those are all, that's all anecdotal. This is, this is the real, these are the facts. This year, 104.7%. So 4.7% over asking. Uh, that's up 5.3% from last year. So again, that's huge for you sellers out there. Um, just know that you cannot price your property under, you can't price, if you price the property, you can't price it too low. You can price it too high. So just because the market's great doesn't mean that you get to ask whatever you want. Uh, we're finding that, um, properties, people are, people are hearing, everyone knows, our children know, uh, our 16 year old daughter knows that the market in real estate is crazy now. So everyone knows. Um, that doesn't mean that you can just go out, if you think your property's worth 300, you can just list it at 350 and it's gonna sell. That's definitely not the case. Um, you can't price it too low, you can price it too high. So you don't wanna be out there languishing on the market when everyone, everything else around you is selling and you certainly don't wanna be in a position where you just have to keep lowering the price until it sells. Um, not a good look. That's not a good message to send to your uh, to send to the potential buyers out there. Um, so another thing that we've been noticing is there's been a trend in June. Every week we've been tracking the showings, and the showings have basically leveled out in June. Uh, at four, around 4,200, between four and 4,000 and 4,500, right around 4,200 a day. And uh, we want to keep an eye on that because, I mean, that could be the new normal. Uh, we're not sure, you know, stay tuned. We're going to keep on top of that and see where we end up on that. Um, so having said all that, is it starting to, is the market starting to stabilize around here? Um, again, we're going to keep our eye on this really closely and none of us have a crystal ball. We don't know where the market is going. We do know where it is right now. So, uh, hopefully that helped you guys, at least a couple of you guys out there. So again, um, you know, the market, the real estate market is like the weather. It's very localized. Uh, what the market is in West Hartford is totally different than what it is in Mansfield, Connecticut. So uh, just, you know, or Old Saybrook, um, just reach out if you have any questions about your specific house and location or your specific situation. 860-982-7696, that's how you get me, or 860-833-696795, that's how you get Rebecca. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.